Right, so what, what I'm going to do in this presentation is that I'm going to show how we can actually use the Raspberry Pi to do some, some testing on a, on a Wi-Fi network. So the equipment I've got is a Raspberry Pi uh, connected to uh, an Alpha network uh, wireless adapter. You can see it's plugging in through USB here. The other thing that I actually have is that I've connected it into a Linksys system here and then I've reflashed that with OpenWRT. So to give you some idea, uh, so the <coughs> the wireless access point is at 1.1 .1, and then it's there and uh, my Raspberry Pi is here. Okay, so I'll just let you have a look at what the Raspberry Pi looks like. Uh, the the access point looks like. So this is WRT here. Okay, so we can actually see what's connected. If we look at our DHCP. Okay, so there's the Raspberry Pi connected there. <coughs> I also have uh, an iPhone connected here connected to the same network and if we look at the Wi-Fi then we have here I'm on channel 5 there's the uh, the BSSID that's the the MAC address of the of the access point so what we'll do is we'll just get logged in to our access point and just show you what it looks like Okay, there we are. That's what our access point looks like. We'll have a look at the interfaces that we have. And uh, so this is the, <coughs> the the access point running here. And then we have another Ethernet adapter which is connecting to the internet. and we should be able to see the MAC address here. Okay, so this is going to be the MAC address that we're going to connect to a little bit later. So what I'll do is I'll just disconnect from our access point and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect into our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so that's me in there. <laughs> the other service <laughs> that I've got running is VNC this is our Raspberry Pi here <coughs> and we can see all our normal tools that we have in, in Kali Linux ok so I just disconnect them Okay, so let's have a look and we're going to look in Airmon. And here's some of the commands. So if we look at uh, LS USB, we should be able to see our uh, Wi Fi adapter here. So it's actually connected. So if we want, we can do an nmap. We'll have a look at the adapters that we have. So there we are there. So we just run Airmon NG and we see here uh, we have interface 1 for our monitoring so we can start monitoring on Interface one, and then we'll just dump from there. Okay, so this is showing the the connections that we've got when we're connecting to to Wi-Fi. 
and this is the access point here that we're connecting to so we want to be able to connect to this BSSID Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we'll connect to channel 5 channel 5 and then that's the, the MAC address of the access point and this is the name of the the monitoring adapter that we have wireless LAN 1 MON and what we've got to do now is that we've got to create an association so what I'll do from my iPhone is that I'll disconnect and then a rear connect and we can see the WP and handshake coming through there at the, at the top yeah okay so we just control C so now what we have is that we have a, a cap file so for our next command we're going to use this command so we have a look at our password file and what I've done is I've I've put in the the password of the 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 y, the SSID in this case it's anchor one two three so we can put in other ones in here <coughs> and so on okay so the next thing that we'll do is we'll just run this ear crack command paste it in and it's going to look at the uh, the file there zero one psk zero one dot cap and it's cracked it okay so in in this way we can actually see that WPA pre shared key isn't really uh, a secure uh, method